Morning everyone. Welcome to Road Road Restore. I'm John. Okay then, so here we are, out on the bike. How are you all doing? My two new cameras, well one new camera, this one, and the one on my helmet has been refurbished by yours truly. So yes, I'm just uh, basically giving them a quick ride test on the bike. See how everything looks. I thought I could smell two-stroke petrol. <laughs> Got a little Vespa down there, look, Lambretta. Very nice. I don't know what it is, but there's always just some of that two-stroke smell, isn't there? <laughs> I don't know. Smells better than brute, doesn't it? It's probably the first real motorcycle I ever ridden on a grass field behind our school. Yes, I remember it well. The seat was held on by a large chain. <laughs> and I think it must have just used it in the first gear. I know the gears are on like the clutch. You pull the clutch in and you twist the uh, grip round at the same time. But I think I only uh, went in first gear. Just the excitement of the pulling, slowing down and pulling and accelerating was well, pretty cool. So I suppose uh, we're out here and the big question is, what are my two cameras looking like? pretty good. Yes, I managed to knacker them both up by trying to fix them. So I just got to, another, uh, that one's a GoPro. GoPro Plus, no, a GoPro 3 Plus Silver. 50 quid I got it for. And uh, the one on my helmet, which is still my Sony. So I did manage to get splatter all over the lens from the welding and the handle grinding and eventually it just, the picture was more or less unbearable to look at. Oh, I wish I had another gear. Uh, anyway, what did I do with that? 
I managed to find one on eBay for £10. The Sony, what are they? Sony SLD or something? No, SDL. Sort of like that. Sony SDL AS30 mine is. DSL. Something like that. Anyway, I managed to find the same one on eBay. Spears all repairs. Water damage. And you could see all the uh, metal parts where you plug all your electric stuff in and everything. It was all uh, rusty and whatnot. But he says the lens was okay. So I took a gamble, bid on it for the ten pound that it was a starting bid. And luckily nobody else bid on it, so I actually won it. And uh, managed to take my other one to pieces, but I have got a video of uh, messing about with the lens on my Sony AS30. I'll put it in the link if you want, because uh, I don't know if you remember that I did actually I did actually uh, when I was doing the XJ managed to hit it full on with the hammer <laughs> sort of a rebound from when I was hitting some on the XJ with the hammer and it rebounded into the camera and put it out of focus and I did sort of work out that you can refocus them and so I made a video of it so if you're having trouble with your Sony action camera and it's out of focus go and check this link out what's in the description so it is quite easy so yes let's go and get this footage back home and uh, put it on the laptop and see what it looks like and uh, conduct and construct it into a video so I'll see you back in the spare bedroom okay hey up so here we are back safe and sound I've put all the uh, footage onto the laptop and it's looking pretty good up to yet. Uh, this is the GoPro what you're on now which cost me 50 quid. Uh, this is my favourite sports action cam. It's the HDR SA30. HDR SA30. Sony action cam. Uh, this is the one I got off of eBay for 10 quid. Spares or repairs. Uh, basically I just took the lens out this one and put it into this one. Uh, so this is the old lens so I don't know if you can, it'll show up but is it showing up? I don't know. It has got like all spetly little holes in the glass of the lens. Uh, uh, just to show you that the, what I got was it didn't have a back door on like that one's got a back door and it didn't have a plate on like that one's got the plate on. So basically all you have to do is undo two little screws on the plate and the plate comes off and it looks like that. You don't need to take the door off. And then all you have to do is press on the uh, lens at the front with your thumb. You have a little pop like so and then it just comes out the back like that. And all I had to do was screw the lens off this one and screw it onto this one and then all you do is set it up to your phone so you can see on the screen and just twist this until it goes into focus and then what I do on mine is just put a bit of blue thread lock on the tip there and then 
probably can't see it now but I do mark on it a little green felt tip to make a line to make sure that it doesn't move. Uh, today is Sunday, I got the one you're looking at me on yesterday and I got this one yesterday. So I spent yesterday trying to repair that one. And then today I thought I'll go out and try them on the bike to see what they look like. I think the GoPro looks pretty good actually. Today and tomorrow I'll be working on the landfill bike. So hopefully there'll be a video out on Wednesday of the landfill engine being done. Whatever I'm doing to it, wherever I've got to, I can't remember. So yes, don't miss Wednesday's video. There'll be a video on Wednesday, hopefully Saturday. I'm trying to get videos on on Wednesday and a Saturday at the moment. To try and build my revenue up to pay for all this uh, shit I have to keep paying out for. Yes, so I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. If it's given you some knowledge on the uh, Sony action cams, how you can fix them if they go out of focus or change the lenses or whatever. And uh, so, yes, yeah, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you on Wednesday. <laughs>